welcome back to Linda's Pantry. So today I'm going to make chili in our trailer. Um, I'm still up here in the travel trailer with my husband over the Thanksgiving weekend and uh, just to having a great time and I've really enjoyed cooking and and doing his meal prep and just being a wife you know and uh, I just I missed him terribly <laughs> and so uh, and I think that it goes both ways plus I miss my dog he had my dog and I guess he's gonna keep her for a little while longer so it's been good for him to have her company and they just go everywhere together it's good for Sage not to be alone so that being said, we're making chili today. I'm going to make venison chili, and I'm going to put a different spin on it than I have in the past for you guys. So you get a little different variety as, you know, sometimes we do different things when we're making recipes. There's a million ways to make chili. And so today I'm going to use, though, I'm going to add into this, because I've been curious whether I'd like this or not, is the Leslie's Chili Blend by Wild Tree. And, um... Somebody asked me about it this morning, and I thought, well, that's weird because that's what I'm making. Um, so I'll give you an honest review on that. I hope that if you like this video, you go over to my Facebook page and like that page. Give me a thumbs up. Repost it on your Facebook page. Maybe um, go over to the Wild Tree website. I'll leave all the links in the description box below. I'll also leave linked similar videos or videos I'd like you to watch in the comment section as a video response. So go down there and see which videos I might be sh trying to share with you and see what happens. Um, I've enjoyed cooking in this small space because for 12 years we've had this little trailer and it served us well. We've camped in it three weeks at a time when we would go elk hunting and in Idaho and um, it's now it's in full-time use which is a little bit different but um, Really and truly, I don't use much more space than this in my home, other than it's just spread out a little bit more. So, I hope you guys stay along for this and it inspires you to maybe make some chili. Get your pencil and pen out and write down what I put in this. Okay, guys? Come on, let's go do it. Okay, guys, so I'm glad you stayed along for this because it's going to go pretty quick. It's just going to simmer for a long time. So, what we have is a package of my home ground... Home harvested, well, not venison meat. That was from my deer that I harvested this year. And so I've got about a pound, a little over a pound of that. I've also picked up, um, because I want a little different spin on this. I don't want it hot, but I want it to have a lot of flavor. I picked up some soy chorizo. And the fat still is very low, four grams of fat, so it's still very low, um, but it'll add a decadent richness with the spice that's in there to this chili. It'll, it's not, I'm not claiming for it to be authentic, I'm claiming it to be Linda's Pantry Chili. And today, it's Linda's Trailer Chili. So, that being said, I'm going to get my pan, maybe back you up enough that I can maybe be a better view here of what I'm doing because I'm gonna put that in that pan right there so I'll get this over here and now I want to zoom you in a little I've got a really really large onion that I cut up let me uh, go ahead and pause you and get you zoomed in so you see what's going on and then I'll just talk you through okay so I think that's good hopefully. So we're getting the oil heated up in the pan. As soon as you see it start to ripple, it's, it's getting there, but it's not quite ready. And I'm going to put this chorizo down first, um, just because it can really start that cooking process. This is really a good chorizo too. I've had this before for breakfast. It's got tons of flavor. And part of the reason why I'm using this is because I had sent it with my husband for him to use it. And then I discovered he doesn't really cook <laughs> at all. Um, so, that's okay. That's why I'm here. I love cook. Get my handy dandy meat. Okay. 
break this up. So we're just going to brown this off, and this is going to be a lot of chili. All of us are going to eat tonight, and then and cornbread, and then um, he can eat on this for till it's gone, and not have to worry about cooking because. When he goes back to work on Monday, they're long, long days. So there you go. That's that's browning off. And as soon as that gets browned, I'll throw in the onion and the garlic. And then I'm going to bring you to show you how I do the Anaheim chilies. I've already roasted them on top of the stove here and blistered them. They're in a bag, kind of steaming, so I'll have to get those peeled and chopped up. And so that's when I'll bring you back. How's that sound? Mmm, smells good already. Wow. Yum. Okay. I'll be back. Okay, so we've got this meat browned off. It smells amazing already. And, oh, delicious. Okay. So now what I want to do is put down my garlic and my onion. And I'm trying a different angle on the camera. Hopefully it helps you see a little bit more. There's the garlic. It was two huge cloves of garlic. And we love onion. So onions going in. Can't be without onion for a chili of any kind. The nice thing about chili, guys, you can make it any way you want. You can make it with turkey. I love turkey chili. And chili is really figure friendly for after that big holiday meal and you're trying to cut back. This is a good option. Delicious. Mm. Okay, so now we're just gonna kind of sweat those onion and garlic for a little bit. But I am gonna start my seasoning now. The wild tree seasoning is, let's see, I'm going to read it. The ingredients list is pretty simple. White corn flour, paprika, crushed red pepper, oregano, onion powder, cumin, garlic powder, chili powder, cayenne pepper. It's, a, it's pretty simple. And I've tasted it, and it is not hot at all. But it's going to add great flavor. Now the instructions are brown two pounds of shredded or ground beef or turkey, drain the fat, add six tablespoons of this blend to eight ounces of tomato sauce and two cups of water. Bring to a boil and add add to the beef and simmer for about 15 minutes. If you want it hotter, it recommends that you use cayenne. So I'm definitely going to put six of the tablespoons down. And you can see chili flakes in there. And that uses about half of this jar, actually. So, just for um, Joe, if if you were wondering, you know how much you would use, and this is probably a little bit bigger batch than you might be making for one or two people. But that's what we're gonna do with that. And because they have very little sodium in any of their products, I am going to add some salt. I'm going to kind of turn this down a little bit. If I haven't told you guys lately how much I appreciate you, I just want you to know I really do appreciate you coming along for my little adventure in life and my YouTube channel has just grown exponentially and I'm just thrilled. And it's all because of you guys, so. Got some cracked black pepper. And then, now I'm gonna open up some diced tomatoes. This is kind of sticking on the bottom. I wanna add some water in there. So, to kind of deglaze the pan a little bit. Now you could do that with beer if you wanted. Um, but I'm just going to use water. Let that start that deglazing process. Yeah. 
and you'll feel everything start to release off the bottom of the pan. You may or may not have to add more. I'm going to get my cans opened and uh, I'll bring you along when I'm adding the tomatoes. Okay, so this is ready to um, go ahead and add the rest of our stuff. I am going to add a can of beer. I just decided, you know, that sounds really good. I like beer, beer and chili. You don't need a heavy beer. A light beer is just fine. And all the alcohol will cook off, but it will flavor what you've got going on. Then I want my diced tomatoes, and these are just ready-cut organic diced tomatoes. I'm going to do three cans of that. Oh boy, it's going to be a big old pot of chili. And then I need two cans of red kidney beans. Love kidney beans. And I drain them and rinse them in the can. I don't want that added thick, heavy starch that gets collected at the bottom. It's just, to me, all it's doing is adding calories, not flavor. So, now, granted, if I was in a situation where I needed that, that'd be fine. Doesn't that look beautiful? All we're lacking are the green chilies. So, because I want a hearty, rich flavor, I'm going to add some... Mm, wow. I want to add some Nor's beef stock. And this is a beef stock um, that you get. It's, it's like a paste instead of it being in a can. And because we're, we are on limited space here in the trailer, um, I need to conserve wherever possible. So. This is pretty cool. This little container has, it's just about an inch tall by a couple inches. It has that paste in there and it is equivalent to three and a half cups of stock. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use half of that and we'll see how our flavor profile is after that gets all dissolved in there. And I might add a little bit of water, but we want a, a rich meaty taste. Um, couldn't find venison stock anywhere, so that's what I dealt with. So I'm just going to bring this up to a simmer and let it simmer. Um, I'm going to get going on my chilies and I'll bring you along for that. Let you know how the taste tests are going because I will be tasting this for spice along the way. So I'll be right back. Isn't it beautiful? Okay, so now that I've got the peppers have had time to really steam and cool off in this bag. I get myself a paper towel. And you just put them over the open flame right over your burner if you've got a gas stove. Which, okay. And I've got three of these. These are not hot and spicy, but they will add another layer and depth to the dish. Um, and it just it's going to be a great pot of chili. It really tastes good. It's not hot at all. And I will tell you, off camera, I added a, a tablespoon and a half of the um, Wild Trees Java Rub. It is so good in this. It's a perfect compliment. I really like Chipotle, and I love that coffee flavor. And so... Um, I just I'm super excited about that because it just is making this chili taste absolutely amazing. So as you can see, these skins just slide right off. And the key to this is being patient enough to let them release um, because they will. If you try to do this prematurely, you're going to end up frustrated because you can't get them all off. Okay, and then I just set that aside there. And these skins, they kind of are tough, so you want to try to get every bit of it off. If you want to rechar them after you've got the skins off, you can do that. And these are pretty reasonable. They're a lot cheaper, fresh, than canned. And I have canned here in the trailer, but, you know, I thought, I'm going to... They had some fresh ones, and I'd rather, like I said, I'd rather have fresh, if it's at all possible. 
I think these cost me a dollar for all three of these and you'll see as soon as I cut this up how much that's going to make. <clears throat> um, I believe they're, I don't know, maybe I'm wrong, maybe they're not less expensive, but it makes me happy. They taste better. I love, I love the canned ones too though. Okay, so now I'm just opening it up, running my finger right down along that. Open that up and you want to get these seeds out of there. And I don't like that tough membrane either. Okay. Tear this one open. Same thing. Those seeds should come right out of there. Delicious. Okay. Let me rinse my hands really quick. Sorry if I'm in the way. Alrighty. Now I can put those out on the cutting board and get those cut up for our chili. And it's just going to add a nice extra bit of flavor and <clears throat> really be delicious. So what I'm going to do is lay these out. I open them up and lay them out flat on top of each other. It makes it much easier to um, see a piece of skin here to get these cut up. Okay, now, so then you just come down lengthwise, cut some strips. There you go. And then, depending on how big or how little you want your dice, I'm not going to get too crazy about how perfect it is. I just want them in there. And this is quite a bit, as you can see. This is at least mm, three fourths of a cup of these. Where I don't, I don't know that in those cans you get that much. Um, not for that price, anyway. Okay. So that can go down in the sink. Let me rinse again. And I'll bring you over here, where I've got that chili going. Mm. Okay, and I'll give you a look at it up close here. Hold on. Okay, a doesn't that look delicious? So I've got the green chilies down. Um, I will recap. I used a can of light beer. I've got about a cup and a half of water, three cans of diced tomato and their juice, uh, two cans of rinsed kidney beans and about a pound and a half of venison and a pound of soy chorizo. So, and then my spices, a tablespoon and a half of Wild Trees Java Rub, which I absolutely love, and six tablespoons of Leslie's Chili Blend by Wild Tree, and a little salt and pepper. I also put in another tablespoon of regular chili powder. Um, just because I wanted it a little spicier. It's not hot at all, but I wanted it a little bit spicier than just with uh, the Leslie's Chili Blend. But this is absolutely delicious. And I'm just going to let it simmer for another mm, hour, hour and a half or so. It'll kind of reduce down and get really thick. And I'm going to get busy and make some cornbread. So I'm going to use uh, utilize what came from the store, though. It's going to be easy crusties. Southwestern cornbread. So, add water. Woohoo! <laughs> All right, guys, I'll be back. Okay, so today's. Here's, here's the mystery checker everybody wants. To oh, know yeah, about. that's right, huh? You need to hold one up so they can see it. Michael got to go checker hunting with Sage today. They both have a, had a blast. Four birds isn't bad. Let's see. They were, somebody was asking, how come you're so camera shy? <laughs> Let me see. 
Put them in a good position without getting feathers everywhere and all close up. Put little stripes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Good. You're getting feathers everywhere. I just cleaned. Oops. I know. Okay. <laughs> Bird. <laughs> Sorry, it's okay. Yeah. <laughs> that is everywhere. That's funny. Yeah, you All should right. see it when I shoot them. <laughs> All right. What about feathers. Back to the chili and cornbread. <laughs> okay, that was pretty funny. Um, but that's what um, we are blessed enough to do in Nevada. I hunt for some really good chucker bird. Um, it's one of my favorite uh, poultry any kind of poultry kind of meat um more so than chicken or turkey i guess because it's got so much flavor to it and it's so healthy my gosh you can't beat it we're talking organic and delicious so back to cornbread okay i have a package of um this is marie calendar southwest low fat cornbread just add water so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do it in this here this pan here. I'm just going to put down some of that butter flavored grapeseed oil, and you could use any kind of oil you want. And you could certainly in the chili use any kind of chili seasoning you want. I'm just showing you what I'm doing with stuff that I have and that I really enjoy having no preservatives in my seasonings when I can. And I know they're fresh. I know they're delicious. And so this, I'm going to my bowl here and a fork and <laughs> oh, that was funny. I just cleaned today. And so you know how that goes. Get all the floors all cleaned and and uh, sure was nice cleaning in here though opposed compared to cleaning my house so if I end up moving up here um, I know how easy it is to keep the house clean actually it's kind of a challenge because it is a small space but those of you that live in small spaces know what that challenge would be okay and then it calls for see I'm not good at this prepackaged stuff um, it calls for a cup and a half of water. Okay, I'm going to do half water, half cream corn and see how that works out. And I'll bring you back when we pull that out of the oven. Because my battery's going low. Darn it. Okay, so here's the end result. Now we've already really had dinner, but I'm going to give you a little taste test. And so I've got a bowl here with some of that chili. A little grated cheese, a dollop of sour cream, and there's that um, green onion that I've just chopped over that. It looks beautiful. And the cornbread um, came out really good. It was kind of sweet with that cream corn in there. Although I'll say the oven in here will brown off the bottom pretty quickly. you got to watch it. So I'm going to take a little bite of the sour cream, bite of the chili and some cheese and let you know how it tastes. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. That's really, really good. It's not too spicy. It's just right. And with the sour cream, any heat that might be there, it just cools it right down. It's just a great compliment for this. So I truly hope this inspires you to step outside the box, maybe um, make your chili a little bit different. It doesn't have to be the exact same recipe every time. It, there's a thousand ways to do this. And I just dress this up in a different outfit one more time. So I hope that this brings you back. And I hope that if you like this, you give me a thumbs up. If you really like it, go ahead and repost this on your Facebook page, share it with your friends. And go over and check out my website and my Facebook page in the description box below. Also, check out the videos that I'm going to post in the comment section to give you a little bit different clue. Maybe I'll post some other chili recipes I have. Alright guys, as always, God bless. <laughs>